Okay, good morning everyone. We are back in Mammoth. Owen's going to be uh, doing a little clean up with the loader this morning. Uh, we got a little bit later start because we were tired. So it's Saturday morning, a little after seven o'clock. We're going to we're gonna head down to the office. We've got a ton of paperwork to do. So I'm going to be working on that all day, but I still will still have some crews out doing some, uh, you know, just doing some of the normal stuff that we do, trying to get caught up on the billing. We're starting to wind down on the actual workflow. So. This is 680 Lakeview. It's right here on the corner of Aspen and Lakeview. It is a lot of snow, so I could see why he wants to load it here, but it is pretty narrow, this access right here. That right there behind this bush is a snow stake, and that is a snow stake right there. It's like about the width of the bucket of the loader. So, I mean, maybe we can make it work, but there's also not really much place to put all this because it's right here on Lakeview, and these are all built up super high right here. So, yeah, let me know what you want to do. job that's a pretty uh, tough one to do we're gonna have some footage of that for you today show you how it's going with that one several units and uh, very very tricky get getting that snow off over there gonna park this over here got to get some uh, room hold on a sec stay all right I didn't say go, sit back down. Nope, sit, sit, sit. S stay. Okay, go. All right, guys. So this is kind of the dog's favorite little spot at the Sherwin's Trailhead Access. It's just a beautiful morning out. Uh, sun's getting ready to creep up behind there um these <laughs> the dogs stadium bud just love it out here because um this is where like a lot of people bring their dog so uh it's kind of the dog spot of mammoth but as you can see looking in the backdrop the mountain looks nice and crisp it's going to be a good day the wind is uh come on guys come on sadie bud let's go Come on, let's go, go play. Go play, go play a little bit. So we're gonna come out here and let him play for a sec. And uh, then we're gonna get down to the office and get some stuff done. They'll probably be cooped up. Nope, Sadie. I don't know who you are that drinks Michelob Ultra, but I saw, I saw a can on the street too. But I hope you see this, whoever you are. You need to clean up after yourself, man. Or woman, whoever you are. You know, if everybody did stuff like that, you know, this place would look like a garbage dump. So, you know, I know we have a lot of people up here. Respect where you're at. Don't just throw trash everywhere and leave it. I'm gonna go over there and clean that up, but that's just ridiculous. I mean, guys, there's a trash can right here and you just throw your beer cans on the ground over there. Plow Brothers. I don't think last year um, I could have imagined um, what was gonna happen this year. So it was, it's definitely, uh, it's a blessing for us. Um, like I've said before, God is good. And, uh, when you're doing the right thing in life, um, God takes care of you even through the struggles. And trust me, I've had my <clears throat> fair share of struggles with a lot of things. 
in life, but um, I always keep that in the back of my mind. Um, that God is just got my back and you know a lot of times it comes right down to the wire but it always works out so here's some of the aftermath um, of the chaos that we've experienced over the last two weeks gonna have to go through all this stuff get it organized um, you know as we start to taper down I'm going to um, start stacking all this stuff out in our C train and some of the other storage areas that we have. But we definitely got to get it out of here. Uh, you know, having these uh, temp workers up here from out of town, they don't necessarily respect the same boundaries that we do up here. So just like I was looking at those beer cans, I come out in my parking lot and I just, there's like cigarette butts everywhere. I don't know if any of you guys are watching, but if you are, Stop throwing your cigarette butts everywhere you go. Please, just stop. I have nowhere to put the snow. Because the glass house is on the other side of that. So we're just bringing it down and sledding it out. So there's the glass roof of the house. I gotta keep all this off of it. So we just decided to make a ramp. We're ramping it down and sledding it out. It's the only way we're gonna get this material out of here. Check that. It's all slippery back here.
massive <laughs> snow storage. We got ten guys out here finding the corner of our foundation. And that one's gonna come in and remove all this. And then we can start cleaning off our whole pad right here. You guys are having a little lunch. How are you guys doing up there? Oh, working hard. Yes, yeah, very hard. Right now they're right up on the back side of that. I'm gonna get harnessed up and go take a look, show you the finished product from yesterday. And now I'm gonna eat a smallie. So we got all the weight off. Now we're on this side. Getting all the weight off. The guys are still eating lunch. Then they'll come back and continue on. That's a lot of snow up there. Great view though. Great view. So we got this one all cleared off. Now we're just uncovering their front door. Giving them a little path to the driveway. And then we gotta cut a path for their propane tank. Still got another day's worth of work here. But the roof's done. Here at Starwood. You guys are getting it all dug out. We're gonna need to get the loader back in here. Getting ready to start sheeting. Still got the back side. Pretty thick. But the front side's all done, 417 looping.
Still got the whole back side to do. This is 417 loop and got the front side done though. All right, we got some burritos from Charles. Sadie already had her dinner, so she's hanging out. It's a uh, Saturday night. <clears throat> We're just gonna finish up our dinner and call it a night here. Probably get some sleep. Looks like it's gonna snow tomorrow, so. Um, we're gonna see how much is gonna come down. I actually got something new for the channel tomorrow. We've got a our own weather forecaster that's going to be giving us a weekly forecast. So we're gonna try that tomorrow and see how you guys like that. Hopefully you'll tune in for that. So check it out. We're gonna call it a night and we will talk to you guys tomorrow.